This past weekend, Cirque du CFL 3 went down in Orlando, Florida, and it was the biggest event to happen over this past weekend. Well, that and its pre-local, the Litvitational 2, which, due to its status as an invitational and not technically a pre-local, was also a major. My videos this week are going to have a lot of stuff from both Cirque and the Litvitational, since there is just so much to go over. But not all of it is good. Put frankly, these tournaments were kind of a mess. Like, rewired fest levels of mess. And listen, I'm not here to bash on CFL, their TOs, or their commentators. There are plenty of people doing that already. In fact, I actually love this series of tournaments. If you don't remember, my first ever video that really blew up was my video on Cirque du CFL 1. This tournament series has held a special place in my heart ever since. I would love nothing more than to just come on here and say that these tournaments were without flaw, but I can't. That's because in the year 2024, at a major tournament, one side of Losers 8's Ashimo vs Syrup was not streamed. Thankfully, it was put on a recording setup. And huge thanks to eSAM for uploading that VOD for me to use and others to view. Link in the description along with all the other VODs. The other side of Losers 8's was done on a side stream. Doesn't seem too bad, except for when you realize that there basically wasn't a scoreboard on screen for half of the set. And while VOD issues were the main annoyance for me personally, that's not what everyone online is talking about. No, the main topic of discussion is the commentary. Not for Top 8, mind you. But just before Top 8, and throughout both the Litvitational 2 and Cirque 3, the local CFL commentators received a lot of backlash from the greater community. For the record, I watched Cirque 1 and 2 and didn't notice a massive backlash back then about the comms. But at Cirque 3, it seems that the line was crossed for a lot of people. As you all know, I try to remain as objective as I possibly can on this channel, and stick to strictly facts. And in line with that, I implore you all to just go watch the VODs yourself, and form your own opinion on the commentary instead of taking my, or anyone else's, words on it as gospel. But with that very necessary context out of the way, we're going to get started with recapping the top 8 of Cirque du CFL 3. Just a reminder before we begin that if you want to support me monetarily, you can do so by using links to my Patreon or channel memberships in the description down below. With that said, let's get started by taking a look at Loser's 8s. Those sets being Peebnut vs Miya and Ashimo vs Syrup. Let's go ahead and start with Ashimo and Syrup, as that's the set that was on the recording setup. Syrup, who actually went by Talking Ben at this tournament, entered Cirque du CFL 3 as the 12th seed, and started off the weekend by getting through pools with only one game dropped to Vivid. Once in top 64 though, Syrup defeated Anathema in a close game 5 set, and then defeated Jay Mafia 3-0, someone we will be talking about tomorrow when I make my upsets video. These good wins had allowed Syrup to make it into winner's quarters, but once here, Syrup suffered a loss to Mutace in a game 5 set, dropping into losers and lastly defeating Cosmos, who actually had a really good weekend 3-0, in order to make it into top 8 the loser's side. Ashimo is one of three Japanese players flown out to Cirque 3, and Ashimo entered the tournament as the 8th seed, starting off the weekend by getting through pools with only one game dropped to Joker main Arsenic. Once in top 64 though, Ashimo defeated Mysterica 3-0, and then Beast Mode Paul in a close game 5 set to make it into winner's quarters, just like Syrup had. And just like Syrup, Ashimo lost here, this time to Zamba in a close game 5 set, dropping into losers and lastly defeating Anathema in yet another close game 5, in order to make it into top 8 through loser's side, to go up against Syrup.
and in the end, Syrup defeated Ashimo in a close Game 5 set that included a reverse 3 stock in Game 5. With this, Syrup moved on in bracket, and Ashimo was eliminated at 7th place as the 8th seed. Now it's time for us to take a look at the other side of Loser's 8th's, Peepnut vs Mia. Mia is the second Japanese player out of the three who were invited, entering Cirque 3 as the second seed. Mia started off the weekend by getting through pools, dropping a game to Tio Kiki, and going game five with Hungrybox. Oh, and by the way, if pools had been best of three instead of best of five, Hbox would have won this set, and we would have been witness to the funniest upset in all of Smash Ultimate history. But whether it's for better or for worse, Mia won that set, moving into top 64 and defeating Dominator and MVD, both in 3-0 set victories. Mia now sat comfortably in winner's quarters, but once here, lost in a big upset loss to Shattuck 3-1 dropping into losers and lastly defeating Lima 3-0 to make it into top 8 through losers side. Peebnut came into Cirque 3 as the 30th seed, far and away the lowest seed to make top 8. Peebnut started off the weekend by sweeping pools flawlessly, the first competitor we've covered so far to do so, before moving into top 64 and defeating Applewiz 3-1 and Goblin 3-0 to make it into winner's quarter finals. Unfortunately though, once here, Peebnut would lose to Debuzz 3-0 dropping into losers and lastly defeating the third and final Japanese player at Cirque 3, Shutan, in a 3-0 set victory, to make it into top 8 through loser's side, in order to go up against Mia. Okay, 81% though. Peepnut slowly clawing his way back in the game. The down tilt will catch the two frame. Yeah, Mia with a roll. Smash, what a read. Yes, beautiful reactions here from Peepnut. The up air! Kill. You can't jump out of that, Mia! Yeah, he actually traded with Right, and because he threw out the down air and it traded with up air, wall jump. He wall jumped that Thank fast. You. That looked so quick. That was so fast. <laughs> I love it. And he had all the momentum. Too. I love it. Okay, Peanut with the forward smash coming Game through. One. True. So, so if, if you want, you can go for the three week, the three week pellets, and yep. then start throwing out metal blades because we saw a lot of uh, reflection of metal blades earlier. I saw somebody in chat say this isn't top 32, it's top eight. You can blame EE for that one, bro. This is top eight. <laughs> this is absolutely top eight. Yeah. See ya. Mio holding a shield a lot longer in the scramble. That's making a big difference. Five. Up the air is here. Lapping the percent. Mia. Oh, super deep. Nip with the turtle. You know, just holding in place and throwing out for you. Setting up a lot more nares too as well. Uh, and a pivot grab. Keep that. Look for the back air. Oh, we're back. What's up, chat? <laughs> okay, Peep. Hey, Peep got three okay. stocks to one. And actually protecting from the forward air, it looked like. He's able to kind of mitigate the, the initial hitbox and try to get maybe a bit of a reset or a follow-up from that platform ledge. Oh, no, my God. Empty Peep. hop off A two. three stock on the third top three player in the world? Peepnut finds his footing, looking for a forward air, and the up tilt still safe enough on that platform. I think that's why Peepnut likes this stage. Super hard fought for stock. Oh. Down tilt, be able to take it for Mia. Okay, ledge trap now. Oh, he looked for the raw F tilt on neutral getup, but couldn't find it. The back throw is enough for Peepnut. 164%, utilizing the bucket. It actually gets to reflect. He lets the bucket rip. Yeah. He's throwing out all sorts of forward airs. That's it's going kill. to shield poke, and Mia will bring it to game five. Air here, we're seeing a lot of bombs That's gotta be it. Mia killing of the turtle back air. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh. Air dodge was given away. Okay, Peep. And the, the ledge drop when you weren't expecting it, Peep. Nut. Jumped too early. Oh my goodness, the dash attack connects for Mia. We're gonna see maybe a back air. Not yes. Options, yep. It will connect. Mia equalizing the stocks, but the percentages are not equal. Peep Nut is ahead by plenty of percentage. Now has the ledge. Oh my goodness. Oh, no! that's it! He sets it up! He sets up the Crash Bomber, and Mia takes, not Mia, Peepnut takes out Mia in one of the craziest Game 5 sets we've seen at Cirque. That's one of the best players in the world that Peepnut has just taken down. Peepnut is a static And in a stunning Game 5 upset victory, Peepnut defeated Mia 3-2, moving on in bracket and eliminating Mia at 7th place as the second seed. This upset was massive, and I'm not sure I've fully comprehended it yet. But either way, it's time for us to take a look up at winner's semis, those sets being Zamba vs Mudes and Debuzz vs Shattuck. Let's start with Debuzz and Shattuck, shall we? Debuzz came into Cirque du CFL 3 as the number 6 seed. 
Starting off the weekend by sweeping pools flawlessly, before moving on into top 64 and doing the same thing there as well, defeating Riku, Apollo Kage, and Peebnut to make it into top 8 through winner's side, without dropping a single game. DeBuzz called this a flop era, by the way. Shaddock came into the tournament as the 7th seed, starting off the weekend by getting through pools, but not without having a surprisingly close game 5 set with Niwo, barely preventing the massive upset Shaddock moved on into top 64, before going on to defeat Gai Gai 3-0, Sebayi 3-0, and lastly Mia 3-1, defeating two game and watches in a row in order to make it into top 8 through winner's side, to go up against a buzz. When we get another back, that's right, she said, I ain't gonna be gone for long, okay, I'm pulling up, down till again. Yeah, and this is kind of tough. I think the sorties, especially the farming characters, are good characters. Some of them probably more better than others. Hell, great, if you will. But the problem is that some of their approach options are pretty telegraph. What ain't telegraph is how you need to get the, back to the ledge, the buzz. The rarest Come on, man. club I've ever seen in my life. The buzz is not one to drop a recovery of all things happening, and I doubt they do either. Uh -oh. I'm sure one of them's looking at the clock. But this is a very close game because there's only 10 seconds left, and there's only oh, a less it. than 10% difference on both of them. Shadik has to get back to the stage and realize that he has to make up this damage oh! difference. That pin is going to do it. You're up by 10, and now we run for the hills. Don't even bother to rack because that's going to be game one. Damn! And Shadik said, yo, run it back, man. Come on, bro. You trying to run away from me, man? Get, get over here. Don't I'm trying ever, to fight. Don't ever do that. Buzz looking for a way to just keep him out, but that pin is going to do it. That's the ideal pin right there. She's that shoot tall? through the platform. Yeah, she, she's one of the tallest characters in the game, man. She's a big like, lady. That, it's, canonically, she's like eight foot tall. Are you serious? That's a big woman. Bro, what's she doing to smash? The Lakers need you, bro. bro. That's what I'm saying. Bro, what hey, the hell? Your talents are being wasted. You in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, you need to be in LeBron the bubble. LeBron needs your help. <laughs> like, hey. Special, but the threat of it is there, and damn, is this a sack ride present? Not, not yet, not at center stage. And just like you said earlier, Rod, this might be going down to the wire, and I didn't want to believe you, but now we are down to the last 30 seconds. That oh. up there is going to do it. Caught in the corner, of course, the buzz. Looking for some leverage here. Just looking to gain just any sort of just something back onto the stage, but really struggling. Using dash attack, God. of course, another Another way pin. back in, but yes, the pin right now is always X marks the spot right into the F tilt. Okay, can I get the up air? Hold up. Oh, dodges the pin. All right, so now Hold the buzz up. has to planted on center stage. At least he had it there for a second. Now you have to get up the ledge. Get up attack is going to do it for him. Now he's back at center. And now Shadok has to find a way to get back to this game. But the buzz is just controlling the space so well right now. That's what Min does. Right. Have you ever played arms? This is basically what the game looks like. This is it, bro. No, Wait a minute. No way. And it actually does it from center. Just lands with it and sneaks that one in. And Shadok. And in the end, Shattuck defeated DeBuzz 3-0, moving on into winner's finals and sending DeBuzz down into loser's quarters against Syrup. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the other side of winner's semis. Mutes versus Zamba. Zamba, coming off of the win at Genesis X, came into Cirque du CFL 3 as the first seed. Zamba started off the weekend by getting through pools, with only one game dropped to Sakana on the way into top 64. Once there, Zamba defeated Dark Wizzy 3-1, Sure Hyper 3-0, and lastly Ashimo in a close game 5 set in order to make it into top 8 through winner's side. Mewdace came into Cirque 3 as the 13th seed and started off the weekend by getting through pools, going game 5 against Odyssey but clutching it out in the end to make top 64. Once there, Mewdace got wins over Omega, Shuton, and Syrup, all in extremely close game 5 sets. And after 4 game 5s in a row, Mewdace made it into winner's side top 8 in order to go up against Zamba. Wrap this up. That's right, man. Mudez, of course, standing firmly in the position right there at the ledge, understanding that I have all points of this setup here accounted for. I got the oh. backer, of course, under the platform. You try to get up off that ledge. I got Nair on the shield. I got a lot of... I'll be off stage. No hitbox, not recovery. It's going to be in control. But, of course, bro, dropping at near 200 is scarier than you might think. That's facts, bro. I get one berry, and I guess uh, properly, hell, if I throw the up tilt right in there for good measure, you might be in some trouble here. 208%, this stock is definitely well past oh. its prime, and the booty getting busy. <laughs> the Mute has a hell of a lot to say about it. Oh, yeah. Up to not going to lead into the up air, but they are getting the forward air, taking from the left side to the right oh. side. Hits the air dodge, and the up air is going to do it right there. It doesn't matter what your DI is or where you are on the stage. At that percent, that Rob up air is going to do it. Yeah, you are big dead. You know, he's been getting a lot of the success right now off stage. You know, in, in this match, and of course, in some of the previous sets throughout the course of the day, too. Definitely, man. Answering back. Of course, you cannot allow either side to get an inch right here. They definitely going to take a mile. The booty getting a busy here, Dom. I like that. Turn up into the Peach Bomber. I'm a really big fan of seeing that move in combos, especially um, off stage. But that back here, that flow bear is going to do it. You can see the look on Zalba's face. They knew they should have dropped that stock there. Doing 
the dirty on Zamba right now. They're going all over the place and doing whatever they want. And Zamba just has to find a way to Rip. respond. Down to the corner, has it back all shade at 114. Green Ace, keep in mind, still on that first stock and just looking so dominant right now. Dude, Ace is just so good at this. I mean, you know, your best player, your favorite player in the world, or. Okay. A little bit of mind games in the corner right here. Zamba trying to find a spot where he's comfortable at. But of course, the way the Mutis is playing, no place is comfortable. I promise. No, absolutely not. Don't don't get complicit versus me. Oh, Miss Saturn. Ah, threw him off stage. That's crazy. He ain't do nothing wrong. Caught the gyro. Oh, and damn. Yeah. He caught the fade. Wow. Oh, just caught him straight up. Jumped from ledge. The crown is there. That's and in the end, Mutace defeated Zamba 3-0, moving into winner's finals against Shattuck and sending Zamba down into loser's quarters against Peebnut. And since we're talking about it already, let's just go watch that set now, shall we? This is a very smart thing to do, especially early on in the set. Definitely want to establish right here tone and most importantly spacing. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, you, ain't, you ain't going, oh my god. Stop playing with him. The nair. And yeah, getting caught too. See, this is the problem, man. You get too telegraphed with your approach options, your short hop nairs. Very safe on shit. I want to say nair might be like minus four or something crazy. So it's a super safe move, but it's a very big and telegraphed move. I might just have to mess around and anti air you. What the? Oh my goodness. Peeb nut. So now it's all about back to having a big lead and something needs to kind of like, you know, uh, close the gap. Right. right it's certainly a daunting task to get done. Ooh, but wait, I may have spoke too soon. Oh Let's jump back Bro. here. Huh? Did that he just set, set the trap? Yep. And that, that forced Zombo to go to the other side of the stage because that was time to go off as soon as Zombo would have came back with that recovery. So he didn't even go to the ledge. This is time for crime if we're like it. Good lord. The spikes. Now keep it this Bro. game going. Oh, it's it's following the tech roll too. Rob with the, the less than ideal tech roll right there thanks to being a uh, big body character. He'd be able to just capitalize on that entirely. He's trying to get that grab at the ledge, setting up for a trap! Oh, oh my god! That's frame six on the up till yep. in your damn face! Yeah, leech Come on. in hand. Playing a slow game right now. Uh, so I'm, so I'm going to go to the other side of the stage. Yeah, good, good idea. Just he straight up. Just avoid that in, uh, situation entirely. You had the ability to go to the other side of the stage. You might as well use it because Peepnut is preying on that recovery right now. All right, man. Hands together. In hurts! Damn! Oh my god! Hold on, Leaf Shield landing, you know what Mega Man is about. I'm gonna steal in the Leaf Shield whenever I can because that does a clean 20 win fresh. Okay. And it's a free landing most of the time. Okay, Zalbo with a slight lead right here, only 15% in front of Peeve. Okay. He's gotta build up that percentage so we can finally get the KO on him, get a game on the board right now. Oh, be careful with that down air, that's plus on block, bro. It's my turn after down air, dog. Right. Okay, no down tilt. For that back. You know, no, you know it, for. you know not it. not give it to him. Up tilt though, hold on, bro, he's just running up on him, dog. That's six frames of pain. Oh, up no. air again. Hold it. up. Yeah. That's what it. the hell? Yep. Going yep. on. Yup. Air shooter coming through, man. You know how dangerous that move is as soon as you get And ultimately, Peebnut defeated Zamba in a 3-0 set victory, moving on in bracket and eliminating Zamba at fifth place as the first seed. Peebnut has now defeated the second seed and the first seed here at Cirque. An amazing performance. This also means that with both Mia and Zamba out, the only players left in the tournament are all players who have never won a major before, meaning that no matter who wins Cirque to CFL3, at this point, it'll be their first ever major win. Also, apparently Zamba's controller was basically broken, and a video posted on Zamba's Twitter does seem to prove it. But still, this is a valid win, and it allowed Peepnut to move into loser's semis. To see who else would make it there, let's take a look at the other side of loser's quarters. DeBuzz vs. Syrup. Oh, please do not dog call me in the, top, in the, uh, the chat if I'm wrong. But I believe Riku is CFL, not SFL. But yes. regardless, Florida, but the simple fact that she doesn't have to put her hurt box over there or commit to breaking on that wall right. means that when you put that house up, I can get rid of that and not put myself in direct danger. Steve is, Steve, Steve is so technically so safe back there. You're seeing a lot of nares right here. I believe Ram Ram's the fastest one, but Power Dragon being the safest one, you gotta make sure you get your tools oh in order. God. Man, For bro. Forget Code Red, this is Code Black right now. The Buzz was handling business no more than 45 seconds ago, and now you can lose the next interaction. Serpent is looking for it. So okay. Bring a okay. here comes okay. through, and we have avoided crisis. You can just see the look on the Buzz's face. But this is a game should go. I mean, and also to barely 
lose on a stage where, you know, the platform layout didn't really quite work in your favor. Now you have that third one you can really hide. Uh, oh, my Ooh, goodness. You know what? Take power everything. Dragon, let's go. Bro. The laser coming out. Bro. The one's taking a hell of damage right now. Bro. 82 to 99 on the last stock. Bro. 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 We are not French. We, bro. Are, not, we are not in Paris. But this is deja vu. Okay. I swear I've seen I, this bro, before, bro. I think I've seen this episode I swear before, I've too. Seen this, before. This, this, this might be the reboot. We'll see. Nah, so, get on. Oh, that actually did KO. I thought he was going to live with just a little bit left. Going back to the nest, the blue nest especially. I love the blueberry fit, man. But Surf going back to the tried and true. And now Surf is getting matchup check. Or uh, the buzz round is getting matchup check. When is the last time you fought a nest in this caliber? Please tell me. It's been a while, bro. Because right now you are off stage. And Talking Ben looks like he has a big lead in front of him. And yes, he does. Only 50% on him. Oh, absolutely not, man. Still waited out all 11. I think it has to be 11 hits in a rapid something for you to be able to get out of it comfortably. Wait a minute. Hold on. Why? Samuel Busby, okay? Why did he bounce off the stage? Bro, this match is just... Is anything but good right now. I, I want to say Talking Ben can push this to another game, but the buzz. Oh, there wait a go. minute. Let's go. Put the toes on him. Put him on him, bro. Yo. The buzz certainly having his way with him, but you know, again, the yo yo stays out, bro. This is has, bro. Bro, the way he's handling Ruma is actually textbook. Like, he knows how to fight this character as not just Ness, but also as Steve. Huh? He knows that Luma is not a problem for him when Rosa is in tumble. So you can take that free hit. Neutral air just tacking on that extra damage. What's he going? Surf waiting for an opportunity to swing, but the buzz is being so patient right now. The zoom damage. Game five. The up air not going to do it just yet. We're on battlefield, not small battlefield. We okay. got too much space for that. Too much space. Nice landing with the aerial. Off the mark with the grab, and I'm loving this. Less is more. Love that down tilt in the corner. Oh, drag down. Luma. Get off of her. Another raise. Get off of her. Oh, I'm missing all that, but it's not going to matter. Surf still finds the back throw. Game five incoming. Running through him right now, just getting everything that he needs to extend his lead. Oh, love that smooth oh, nice. with the magnet to the drag down to the around the world. It is talking a Ben chit chatting a little bit more right now, at least texting in this match. Uh -huh. Okay, double nair right into the up air. Uh -oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. goodbye, yeah. goodbye. In the corner, nice. Going to go for the one jab there that time. Just trying to check the temperature. Nobody home. Four throw off stage. Exactly where I need you to be. Okay, up tilt. No longer going for short hop near half hazardly anymore. Up tilt, not becoming an Ooh, issue. Here's a down smash. Big down smash from the buzz. Now Surf has to oh. stand oh. out the ledge and calls out the jump from ledge perfectly. And what have we known the buzz to do for the past? And in a close game five set that saw Syrup use the old Ness, the buzz defeated Syrup 3-2, moving on in bracket and eliminating Syrup at fifth place as the 12th seed after a phenomenal run. The buzz now moved into loser's semis in order to go up against Peebnut. It's kind of finally settled back in and he's mixing it up a little bit. Just Myron, a little bit. My boy Myron, my go. Oh my goodness. Don't ever up tilt my shield again. You know better than that. Okay. Of course. Oh, trying to cover Woo! that distance from the platform to the ledge. Rousing effort. Galvanize himself and get back in this game number one. Or is it all she wrote for the most? Let's see, man, how much ink is left in that pen for this narrative, dog. 181, but you know what, though? Mega Man, again, a very big body, can certainly live for some long periods of time, but not in game number one. He said, my boy, you might have peeved your last nut around here, my boy. We out here chatting, so it's Steve not getting that first stock over the bus, trying to build upon this lead. See how far he can take it real quick. Come right, on, man. He right now with the lead, but for not much longer. I'm standing over that list with this purple one in hand. You already know, man. The Lakers line up foresting the air ball. He ain't coming back to this ledge. That's it's looking match. good right here, man. The bus, I got it. Nicole, he said, I'm out of here, baby. He ain't coming back. That's right. Check your tender. We didn't unmatch. That's it, I baby. didn't even tell you. I ain't even tell you. That block real quick, or you gonna hold that? That's right. The soft block, too, man. How did we unfollow each other? How did that happen? How did they do it, Ryan? How did they do oh, it? Oh, my goodness. And how did that purple pigment just get done up like that? Luckily, you got a frame one pluck, but damn, you want the right sort of lineup right now. I'm telling you right now, 169. Damn! Oh, he gave up the air dodge, and the bus smart enough to take, just take height off that peanut. Did not get here by accident. Plenty of tricks left under his sleeve. Trying to incorporate a couple of them right now. The boy trying to do the distance to the Pibna. Hawking him down right here quick. That's right. He said, where you going, bro? I'm in your face. I'm everywhere you don't want me to be and then some. Come on now. Like, like that. Again, another up tilt attempt. That wow. time electing to go for it. The up smash. I love that. 
What you got for me under the rest? That's right, man. Stupendous indeed. And this lead is just horrendous right now for the buzz. This is looking anything but good. Does have the purple one, but he has to figure out a way to make some magic happen for himself. And it ain't gonna happen in this game, Phil. We're getting another one. Hey, oh, oh damn, damn. He damn. left himself so susceptible, vulnerable in that situation. Buzz not letting it go to waste. He got potentially staring down the barrel. For his final stock. For so you're at that final stock. For Hey, playing for that money right now. Oh, the purple ones are out of here, man. He's in con full control of his lineup. I always tell people, it's not about the manageability of your resources, also your opponent's resources as well. And it's exactly what you want to see if you're Peep Nut. He throws that purple one, you get rid of it, okay? Oh, oh my God, no way! He just go! He just go! Do it out, bro! Let's go! Buzz is not one for getting on plane rides just for the fun of it. When he comes to an event, he's expecting at least a oh. top tier performance. But hold on now. Peepna said, I, I bet you weren't expecting this up tilt because I got it in space, bro. Hold up. Oh, oh, wait, wait, oh, up, wait, oh, up. Oh, wait, Rod, wait, Rod, wait, bro. Rod, hold on, let me bro. stand up. Hold on. Let me stand up for this one. Bro. I'm gonna stand up for this one. Hold on. Bro. I'm with you. Okay. I'm with you right now. Down there. Hold, hold on, on, bro. Now. What we got? What we got cooking right now? Aaron Shield up there. But I'm big. I'm big and I'm heavy. And he most is. importantly, I'm strong, That's bro. That's what it is. Oh! Game. Game. Set. Match. The buzz set. Hold on now. King of and in the end, DeBuzz would end Peepnut's Cinderella run in a close game 5 set, moving on in bracket and eliminating Peepnut at 4th place as the 30th seed. Now sitting in Losers Finals, DeBuzz awaited the resolution of Winners Finals, Shattuck vs. Mudes. A long, long oh. time, somebody struggling to get it right now. The battle rages on on PS2, baby, PS2. but it's three stocks. Three stocks right now. Who's going to draw blood first and take that first stock? And it's looking like it's Team Shattuck right now. Represent Texas, represent their characters, and represent for the CFL region as they're holding it down and putting on a hell of a show right now. Definitely do not want to relinquish this lead, but I got to be honest right now, Mudes is kind of cooking. He's yes. broken that zone. Forward air, there, all those options not working anymore. But hold on, if you jump in front of me, I will pin oh! at a moment's notice. If it's that quick. Making him guess improperly every time on what is what the proper option is going to be. Mudes right now, a little bit of a lead, but I hate to see them lose it here. Pin. Oh, Ooh, I like that back air. Good connection. 141 right here for Shattuck. That is a lot of percentage. I like the fact he's not shying away from continuing to be super aggressive and Rod going to be rewarded for it as that pin the win connection. But it is the backer that's kind of been the bane of Mudace's existence. You gotta watch Damn. This. Look at this, all this damage that just accumulates and stacks up. Shattuck so good at making sure one hit is not ever just one hit. Always stringing them together, but Mudace gets it down to final stock. Can we see one of those? No. Hits? Oh, don't watch that shield. Oh, oh, no. It was either your shield or your ass. You choose. Shattuck did it for you. Coming from the part of Corn. Content with the back there. Let's see if you turn it out. Oh, no, overshooting it on purpose to not only secure the recovery, but knock Mudes back as well. That's right, man. He just has options covered every damn where, man. He's like the Batman of this damn set. But wait a minute. Mute Ace with a pretty okay lead right now. I want to see them hold on to it for dear life, but snaps from him. Okay. So go high there that time. Mixing up the trajectory on his way back down. Smooth stuff falling up there. I can do that on shield too. Okay. Back air, perfectly spaced. Yep, terrifying oh. position to be in. Okay. Oh, oh, my God! He got it in the blink of an eye! And that is Shattuck's hope. And ultimately, Shattuck defeated Mudes in a quick 3-0, moving into grand finals from winner's side and sending Mudes down into loser's finals for a showdown against DeBuzz. Good forecast right now. We might see that immediate character switch from DeBuzz. Hello? Although he about to dig in that pocket, bro. And I said earlier, man, the pockets are deep. Cargo pants yeah. into a compartment, bro. Come on now. All right. Going crazy right now. Oh, wait a minute, though. I'm going to put on the jorts real quick. Really putting on a show in game one. I'm going to use your spirals and coach. You tried it. Minute mark. About to give it up to the defense. Yes, he had trying to work on that Duma ever so slightly, but the buzz holding steady, and he damn sure was ready. Truly one of those things. When you really look at our top three, Rod, it's just really a battle of the Divas right now. That's Big it. Peach and uh, Rosa, remember, it's Shattuck with the foreign Warren in the version. Green. Waiting in the wind. Great pickup Ooh. from the buzz. Getting it done. One stock away. Defensive front as well at 129. It's a very fragile stock. The Peach is working with it. The buzz very much so knows that. But the buzz is smart of the note. Yes, I understand. You're at a very vulnerable spot, but I'm not going to rush the issue. I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to get too overzealous. And that's oh, why sometimes you let the goodness. KO come to you and you go up 2-0. That's right.
Up air again. It's actually kind of crazy. It's the kind of response that we were hoping to see out of the aces. Not disappointing oh, as the buzz. You go down the coming at you, whether you want it or not. The buzz turned out hollow bastion. was just a pit stop on the way to greatness for the one of the aces. Mute. Hold it down. Oh. That might clean it up. Yes, it will. Pro stage. Can we keep it, though? Nice. Put those arms out to use. And here we go. Parasol. Hold on. Hit the Fonsworth. Bentley back to the lead. Oh, oh you're out of here. That's crazy right now. Whoa. Whoa. I like the way you move. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I, I like the way you move. move. Uh, smooth stuff right here on Mute Ace's side. Looking prime and ready to push this to a game number five. Damn. I'm uh. not one to doubt Mute Ace. If we can get it to a game number five, anything can happen from that clip of the bus coming through. Was that the... Uh... I'm not sure. Oh, oh, oh my God. Good golly, Miss Bali. I think he's doing such a good job at that, but it ain't going to happen. You keep playing off stage, but I'm here to bring the raise. Wait a damn minute. Enjoy this up smash. Incredible stuff from the buzz. Setting the tone early that I am here to play no games. Play oh, no my games. God. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Stitch face. Stitch face. He's going to line you up. He's going to line you up. He's going to line you up. Hold up a second. Oh, about it, Rod. The bus oh, actually making the most out of getting back to the stage. Hold on now, Rod. This is definitely gloomy. Wait a That's minute. It. That's it. Bro, he said you might have been. And in yet another close game five set, Mudeace defeated DeBuzz in a stunning reverse 3-0, moving on in bracket and eliminating DeBuzz at third place as the number six seed. Mudeace now moved up into grand finals from loser's side in order to get one more shot against Shaddock. And now it's either Shaddock or Mudeace that will win their first ever major tournament at Cirque du CFL 3. Without further delay, let's get into it. Yeah, all right, and I wasn't born to 87. So your ass don't even know what you're talking about. I've been awake, I'm ready to bake, and somebody about to win this tournament in some cake. Absolutely no fear oh. in Shad coming down with that back and then moving along across the stage. Uh -oh. oh my goodness, a few days with a little bit of a suspect recovery, not gonna get back. Each combo is some really solid edge guarded to really make this a contest. Otherwise, you might as well just hand game at number one to Shadow. Look at that commitment right there, Rod. Just throwing caution to the win. Anything to get that additional damage on it, just recover safely. No shot that XD. Oh, oh my god, dead. Caution to the Wow! Win. But yeah. Chad, if he's thinking, I just want to repeat a winner's finals. I want a 3 oh yeah. Get the hell out of here. That's give me right, the money. That's Put right. the mask on. Give me the money. Give me the money, man. Run your pockets, all right? Run your pockets. Oh, my goodness. Too much booty in them pockets, though. Y'all need to answer. <laughs> yeah, does Shattuck have the answer, though, for this lead of Butte A's? Not quite the back air. Gets it done, and we are one apiece. The real question here is just all a matter of time. Now, who has the most resiliency in a matchup like this? I think, you know, the reoccurring trend is that one side gets the lead and then never really lets go of the steering wheel. Wow. But damn, the heart, bro, butterfly wow. in the sky. Bro, come on, man. Well, maybe it's the other way around. I don't really know. But either way, I'm here, motherfucker. I'm here. I'm here. I'm present. I'm okay. I'm in the zone. My goodness. And you just got hit with that nair again. We got nothing for you right now. Put some respect on the name now, nah, bro, but I'm here to bring the pain. Bingo. Hey. Evo right now, you better tuck your chain. Hold up, is this, is this red? Is this red? I'm gonna tuck mine in. Okay. Oh, that's what you get for tucking it in. What you got on my phone, red? Damn, bro. I, I like it though. Hold on now. This is absolutely horrifying. The great back there to interrupt the dash attack attempt. What, oh you, my no, what you doing? Wow. What you doing with the parasol? Put it up. Okay, coming up on the final minute right here of the game. No turn up at the lead. Gonna pin, gonna mix it up a little bit. Another pin, hold up a second. Before it was Sephiroth, it was me, but it's you going to the next set right there. Really just kind of leaving no doubt, like, yes, my expectations are to win this event. And that's exactly what the hell I'm here to do. A two-stock lead right now. Shattuck, the answers have seemed to have lost him. He gets that back air. And set himself up right, going deeper into this set. But few days knows if I get this game won, if I'm coming off of a huge win in the first set of grand finals, I'm doing nothing but setting myself up for a great ride all throughout the remainder of this grand finals. And that's exactly what's going to happen off that there a few days. Oh, my God. And then, of course, answering back accordingly right now. I was wondering what the adjustments were going to be, and it is the frame of trapping. Indeed. God damn. Jesus, Jermaine, Lamont, Christ. Wow. Game two. So pivotal. Shattuck has finally re-engaged and figured out his offense yet again. He is the boom kick. Okay. Few days putting him on a skewer oh. in the wings. Just a little piece of that thing. 
Man, man, ping pong with yourself, that's kind of difficult, but I tell you what, New Day's Mason look like just another day. That's right, I'm in the office, suit and tie, Justin Timberlake right now. Hold up. Oh, the pin almost hitting the target. Wow, that was good. Woo. Okay, pops you off your feet, sending a message though. Oh, that was clean. Oh my Woo. goodness, is that enough? It is right there, throwing that da -da -da. Porter on the way down, nuh-uh. I see you, man. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, very, very safe. Slow on the start, but the man's respect. One of those moves you want to get the hell out of the way up. Same with that back here as well, too. Ooh, Caught you slacking. Okay. Sent you packing. Wow. Oh, nice response from Chaddock. Excellent job to pin. Got a footstool right there got for you. For it got a footstool right there to a falling up air positional advantage. It's locked in. It's a pin, a swing, and a kick. But I'm out in this magnifying glass, bro. I ain't dead just yet. These palpitations right there going right now. These are hard stoppers at the moment. New Day's 1 and 53 knows that the next mistake could very well be their last. And that's going to be it off the up throw from Shattuck. We got a game number five for Grand Finals reset. Again, dead even percents one more time. There's the down wow. tilt, though. We extend in this lead. Boom, back row, but the other way though. And then we're still oh, going? Oh. Frame trap? Oh no, you're in trouble, bro. Kind of crazy right oh, now. No! Oh no, mute to the ace. Wow, you hate to see it, but it looks like Shattuck decided to pull his card. The absolute oh. ace is over. And perhaps an opportunity for Shattuck to claim this title. That's right, working it on it. Whoa, oh, point. Message definitely sent. You won't be able to survive too many more of those. The pin stopping, all the float cancels. Watch yourself around me. There's the there. Hold your breath right up. Shattuck, he's the champion. Yes, the hell he is. Your Cirque Three champion. Strive Esports Shattuck. Let's go. Shattuck, the young phenom, the generational talent. And in a game 10 grand finals, Mutis reset the bracket 3-2 in grands, but Shattuck managed to clutch out a game five win in that reset. Eliminating Mutis at second place as the 13th seed and with Shattuck winning Cirque du CFL 3 as the seventh seed. The Corin Main's first ever major win. Cirque du CFL 3 was not a perfect tournament, but there were a lot of things to like, especially regarding this top eight. Insane runs by Peebnut and Syrup getting massive upsets over some of Japan's finest. The Buzz having a bit of a return to form, hopefully on the way to a major victory, and Shaddock winning a major for the first time. There is a lot from Cirque du CFL 3 to talk about, and throughout the majority of this week, we'll be going over all of it. But for today, that's going to be it for today's video. Before I go, shout out to my patrons at Laster, Fosco 33 Logan S, Persipom, Wawa, Mr. Sinister, Happy Feet, Ocean Man, Misty Bot, and my 2 2 patrons, Diltus and Diamond Blaze. Additionally, shout out my YouTube members, DJ Jr., Defective, Diarrhea, Fan of, Boston R, Iltus, Goddess, Speed, Kirby Fan, Nexus, Loco Soco, and my YouTube members, Mike G, Wu-Tang Forever, and Storm Troyper. Lastly, extra special thanks to my Tier 3 supporter, Fat Blizzard, who says Zamba is the best player on the planet. If you want to support me using any of these methods, links are in the description down below. Also, I want to give one last sincere thanks to Let Me Fly for their continued support of my channel. Link to their Twitter page is in the description down below. Don't miss tomorrow's upload, but until then, I've been Mr. Mice, and thank you all so very much for watching.